please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. This is CNBC TV 18. Well, back home on the Lal Street, it was a weak day of trade, but the benchmark indices managed to recover in late trade to close just mildly in the red. Now, in the broader markets, the mid-cap index outperformed slightly and was the only major index to end in the green. The Nifty Bank closed with cuts of close to half a percent. Rupee really weighing on the markets uh, is what happened yesterday as well because it hit a new low yesterday. Now, Manglam joins in to tell us how does the trade setup look like today. Manglam, good morning. Over to you. Well, Anisha, good morning. You rightly pointed out, you know, yesterday was a soft end to uh, what was a very good series. In fact, uh, for the series and the Nifty, we added 510 points. That's two consecutive series of 500 plus points gains. In fact, this year so far, we've had uh, four series of 500 plus point gains on the Nifty, and that is a positive. What was different between the August series and July series, one would say? Well, in July series, the Nifty gained 5.5%, the mid caps gained just 4.3%. Yes, the mid caps did gain, but that gain was under performance as against the Nifty. And now in August, while the Nifty gained 4.6%, the mid-cap index gained 6.7%. That's telling you, yes, the market is broadening. But that's as far as the series which went by is concerned. Just for today, the stock of the day could very well be Yes Bank. Because remember, late last evening, after almost weeks of, uh, of uh, expectations <laughs> on whether Rana Kapoor's reappointment will come by or not, if at all it does come by, will it be one, one year, will it be three years, will it be five years? Well, the RBI bowled a Quick googly, they said we will approve Rana Kapoor's reappointment, but this is only until further notice. That said, Yes Bank, in terms of the weight, has about 1.5% weight on the Nifty, 5.2% weight on the Nifty Bank. But it's very interesting to see what's happening in the banks all through this month. All the private sector banks, the likes of HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, and Yes Bank, they've been lower anywhere between 1.7 to 5% this month. And on the other hand, you have some corporate lenders, the likes of Axis Bank, ICICI Bank, and SBI, which is up anywhere between 5 to 18%. So, how how much of that was already, was the street sussing in or has there already been some sort of capital shift is something that we have to watch out for. Remember, it's the last day of the month, so important to watch out for the rupee as well. You earlier pointed out that it hit a fresh low yesterday, but this is the last day of the month. There could be dollar demand from importers. Crude. Well, the Brent, over the last three days, we've been talking about, yes, it conquered uh, 75, 76, 77. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, now it uh, turns out to be closer to 78. So that is something we will be watching out for throughout this series as well. Remember, this is the September series. The August to September rollovers were 68%, pretty much in line with what we've seen over the last three series. But the Nifty is starting the September series on a heavy note, 2.37 crore shares. This compares with uh, uh, an average of just about 1.95 crore shares. The markers are placed at 11,400 put. And 11,800 call. We are closer to 11,800 than we are to 11,400. So that is something we will be watching out for. And throughout the series, remember there are no results or uh, uh, individual stock specific uh, action to watch out for. So we will be definitely keeping an eye out on the crude oil price, currency movement, trade war concerns, and finally all the macro data points because of the, the, the aforementioned currency and crude. We will be watching out for current account deficit, GST collection, CPI, and industrial production. Oh, Mangalam, really you've given us. Uh the entire trade setup, what to watch for in terms of economic data as well. Any plans of visiting maybe Turkey or Argentina? Those currencies have, you know, fallen uh, big time. I'm aware you're going to the United States, but... Uh, uh, that was, uh, I think, one of the biggest mistakes that I made, deciding to go to the United States. Mm. Uh, in hindsight, you know, I would have been much better off going to Argentina or Turkey. Mm. Be a good boy wherever you go, you know. That's Absolutely. quite important. <laughs> Today's a Friday as well. Mangalam, you're like my little brother. I have to look after you, right? Yeah, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Anisha's blushing as well. So <laughs> you know, I don't know what else but, the uh, plans are. Tell us, what are the stocks? You said not too many stocks to look at, but uh, you know, You'll be having a few out there, right? Yes Bank. I mean, we'll have to look yeah, out for we, that We one. spoke about Yes yeah, Bank already. Yeah. So that is something that we definitely will be watching out for. There was one reappointment even at ICICI Securities. Now, uh, the CNBC TV18 news break has been confirmed that Chanda <coughs> Kochar has been reappointed on the board of ICICI Securities. And ICICI Bank has voted in favor of Chanda Kochar's reappointment. So that is something we will be watching out for, how the street reacts to that. That stock ended at the low point of the day yesterday. Secondly, Idea. That one will be in focus because finally the NCLT has approved now, this is what sources tell CNBC TV 18. The company has got an NCLT approval for this merger. And remember, the NCLT approval was the only one which was remaining ahead of this merger to go through. Another CNBC TV 18 exclusive news break. We have uh, JSW Energy and Tata Power in focus because JSW Energy now has revised its offer for Pragya Raj Power to over 6,000 crores to outbid Tata Power. Does Tata Power come in and outbid?
outbid JSW Energy's bid or not, what happens is something that we will be watching out for as well. HCC, now, uh, there has been a lot of uh, talk, chatter about Lavasa and all. Yesterday we realized, or yesterday we understood from the exchanges that the NCLT has finally admitted the plea filed by operational creditors against Lavasa, so that goes under IBC. And finally, Fortis, another resignation. This is Gagandeep Singh Bedi, who is the CFO. He resigns due to personal reasons. Okay, Manglam, thank you so much for getting us that exhaustive list of the stocks to watch out for. But it is time now for a quick break on the show. Up next, more of that exclusive conversation with Warren Buffett on the U.S. economy and trade tariffs. Well, on to some commentary coming in from Warren Buffett. Now, an exclusive chat with CNBC's Becky Quick. He says that the U.S. economy is doing better than in 2009, adds that trade tariffs have impacted some of Berkshire's investments. Let's hear him out. The economy, really since the fall of 2009, has progressively gotten better. But it started from a very low base. It's, it started from panic. And we've now had nine, uh, well, very soon, uh, you know, we've had nine full years of improvement in business. I mean, quarter by quarter. Now, sometimes it looks like 100% or one and a quarter percent. Sometimes it's two and a half. Now it looks even better than that. Uh, but business is good. At, uh, 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 across the board, business is, business is good. It was good two years ago, but it, it keeps getting better. But the American public, American public household wealth is over a hundred trillion dollars. And 250 years ago, you know, this island where nothing was worth, there wasn't anything here. I mean, 24 bucks for Peter Minuet. <laughs> <laughs> but the economy is firing on all cylinders. One issue that people have worried about is what's happening with trade and tariffs. Have you seen any impact on Berkshire's businesses or higher costs associated with, with any tariffs that have gone yeah, into place? Yeah, there are a few, definitely. And, and we buy steel, you know, for example. I mean, at, uh, at my tech, or we buy it a lot of places. And uh, we are seeing uh, some effects from that, and we're seeing some effects from inflation. Uh, I'm sorry, from, uh, from, from inflation. inflation. We've, yeah. we've, we've seen more in the way of cost increases in the last year, if you go across all of our businesses, uh, but particularly uh, building materials or, uh, well, we sell paint. I mean, the, uh, the can it comes in, that is a lot more expensive than it was uh, a year ago. How, how much of the inflation is directly tied to the tariffs and how much is just from an improved economy and, and, and inflation you would expect to creep in? Yeah, I can't tell you exactly yet. And some of them are kicking, well, newsprint. <laughs> we, you know, there's, uh, uh, it, it, it pops up in different places. I, I, I haven't really done that. But I, but I was seeing it in raw materials well before the, the tariff situation came up. But the, the tariff situation will aggravate it significantly. Okay, let's move on. Back home, amid the weakening rupee and current account deficit, fears the government is seeking a ratings upgrade from Standard & Poor's. Now, S&P currently maintains a triple B minus rating on India with a stable outlook. This has been India's lowest investment grade rating in almost 11 years. Sapna Das filed a report on the subject. Well, I suppose the opening uh, observation uh uh, you know, should basically set the record straight. Uh, the view in the finance ministry is very clear that, you know, the ratings analysis, uh, a sovereign rating analysis is not like those quarterly reports which are put, in, put out by analysts on earnings. So I suppose that's what captures the spirit of the pitch that has been made to the uh, to SNP. So mainly on three accounts, uh, broadly, inflation, very stable. The MPC has institutionalized that stability further. Second, GDP, extremely bullish on GDP numbers. So far, the trend, according to the government, has been buoyant, and you expect better numbers in Q1. It's just a couple of hours away, and that trend is probably going to pick up further, is at least what the finance ministry seems to be indicating very clearly. Third aspect, uh, uh, you know, fiscal deficit. Uh, a lot is being already uh, uh, spoken on that uh, on that account. L various queries are being raised, but at least the government's pitch and at least the government's view so far is that they're, it's, uh, they're absolutely in track. Uh, there is no worry regarding the fisc. So these are the three main pillars on which the argument has been based, and this is more medium to long term rather than looking at you know daily developments. And here, I'll also like to bring in the observation on the rupee. Uh, you know, uh, the, the quote that we have put out is that uh, you know S and 
everybody knows that the rupee is fairly stable as against other currencies now which are those currencies of course uh, you know uh, that, that that is debatable but fairly stable against all the other major currencies except the dollar and the weakness in the rupee is mainly on account of the strengthening dollar this is also well known but uh, this, the, this is a very straightforward uh, viewpoint that has been put forward going on to structural reforms again the ibc is playing a major role in terms of cleaning up the banking system and gst a major reform that has been underway a lot of countries struggled with gst for a couple of years but india apparently in a year year and a half time time frame uh, has fairly stabilized it in interesting comment also coming in terms of stabilization uh, of gst revenues now of course uh, you know the, uh, the 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 current month's numbers are expected out in the next couple of days and we will know what will be the forward trend as well at least for a short period of time but this is a very clear cut pitch made by the government to snp uh, my uh, understanding is that uh, probably not if a ratings upgrade even uh, probably the outlook uh, should remain positive or should became or should become positive uh, would be the expectation going forward well time to slip into a short break up next yes bank will be in focus as the rbi gives a go ahead to reappointment of rana kapoor as md and ceo till further notice we'll get the details on the other side stay with us